had a few requests uh, to make a video on how to strap a kayak down to the roof of your car. Wasn't planning on making one just yet, but I uh, had a customer that wanted to video everything that I was doing and set up and whatnot of the kayak. Um, and so took advantage of that to actually make this video because it's pretty hard to do it myself uh, to show all the way that the straps are attached and whatnot. So uh, anyway, so we'll uh, use this to show how to do that. The first thing you want to do is uh, once you've got the kayak up top is make sure it's balanced properly uh, so that it's not going to lean too easily f forward or backwards. Here's a couple things I'll be using to tie the kayak down. First, we've got the SurePak Quick Loops, which are great for adding uh, tie downs in the front and the rear of the car. And secondly, we've got, these are the type of straps that I like to use to hold the kayaks down. I don't like to use the ratcheting straps because it's way too easy to uh, dent your kayak by putting them on there too tightly. Here I'm putting one of the SurePak Quick Loops in the uh, front engine compartment. You just lift the hood and then put it under that and close the hood on it. You want to put it down where it's going to hang nicely. Um, what you don't want to do is put it up on the, the lip because then the, the hood will close down on it and dent. So just hang it down in an area, find a good spot and uh, where it's not going to pull out easy or get jammed in with something and then close the hood on it. And now you have a nice solid tie down in the front. Now I'm going to put on one of the center straps. Uh, here you can see I'm just going to take it and I'm going to put it under the crossbar. See I'm pulling it through there. And then I'm going to huck the uh, one side over the top of the kayak. Only give it enough room just to get over the top of the kayak and not bash down into the window. That would be not fun. And then take the other side and chuck that over as well and then do the same thing uh, for the second crossbar again putting it under and throw this one over the top of the kayak as well making sure again not to have it so long as to whack into the glass or the paint and finally the last bit there as well all right now we're on the other side of the car and um, doing the same thing here, putting the strap underneath the crossbar and then going to feed it into the, uh, the, the, the strap clasp there and uh, snug it down. And I find if you slide that up to the top a little bit there, it gives you a little bit better leverage. Now when you're doing this, you just want to make it snug. You don't want to make it super tight because uh, that can end up denting the, uh, the kayak. And you may have to adjust it after you've uh, got them both on. So here I'm doing the front one, same thing, put it under the crossbar, and then put it into the clasp there. And a little explanation. <laughs> so same thing. Bring it up to the top, snug it down, and so you can see I'm not putting much force on there at all, and I'm just adjusting this one because it changed it a little bit. And you can see that the kayak really isn't moving, it's not on there super tight, but it's on there enough that um, you can shake the car when uh, you know, grabbing the handle and, and pulling it back and forth there but not enough to dent the bottom of the boat. And there's a number of different ways to do this. Um, just tying off the, uh, the ends of the straps there. I just do a bunch of um, overhand knots there on themselves. And because uh, you don't want that thing flapping around because it can make a lot of noise and also gonna hit the paint. And here to prevent it from untying from those over, uh, overhand knots, I'm just do on the last bit there, I'm doing a few overhand knots that basically put a big end knot in the end of the uh, uh, the strap there to prevent it from pulling itself through um, that uh, the original overhand knot. So you can see I'm going to do that same thing again here. Do a couple overhand knots. And then 
do a couple right on the single strap itself, which then we put the knot on the end to help it prevent it from pulling through. If you don't do this step, I find that as you're driving down the road, uh, those knots, those overhand knots will untie themselves and those straps will start flapping around and wonking on the top of the roof. As an extra safety precaution, I always use front and rear tie downs for the kayaks. Uh, on this one, it's got a little handle uh, up there that I'm just feeding the, the strap through. And there's going to be a bunch, many different mechanisms for this on the front of kayak, so each one to be different on how you feed that through. But uh, and then here I'm feeding it through the Sherpak Quick Loop, and then basically you know putting it through the the, the clasp there. And again, these uh, the straps in the front and the rear don't have to be very tight at all. Uh, I usually just make them tight enough so that they're not going to flap around in the wind a lot. I mean, this is really just to prevent the kayak from wanting to buck up. Um, so, you know, just sort of get a feel for how uh, how tight you want to be. It uh, Depending on how the straps are and whatnot, sometimes they'll make a lot of noise uh, when, you're, when they're flapping around the wind a little bit. To tie this particular strap off, I'm just going to wrap it around here a bunch of times and then just do a couple overhand knots and basically similar to the uh, what we were doing in the crossbars, uh, you know, a couple overhand knots and then a couple more on the, the single uh, end piece itself just to prevent it from wanting to back out through those uh, original overhand knots. And that one should be good to go. And then you do the same thing on the rear. Uh, for this car, uh, they're using the Rhino Rack T-Load. So I'm just going to strap it down and connect the straps to that. Uh, if you don't have something like that, if, uh, if you're just lifting it up top, then you could use the other SurePak Quick Loop that comes in the two-pack and then just put that under the, uh, the tailgate of the car or the trunk of the car, depending on what kind of car you have, and uh, you can tie it down to that instead. But since this had uh, something that was convenient to tie it down to, um, I just use this because the, the sure pack quick loops can be a little tricky to get into a, a hatch on a car similar to this. Sometimes they don't want to close or you have to try a few times to, to get it right. So same thing, this one doesn't have to be super tight or anything. Um, and I'm just tying off the end here, same way, you know, a couple overhand knots and then a couple more to prevent it from wanting to pull out. And now you're good to go. Uh, one last thing I do is just check to make sure everything is, is snug enough. Just sort of go around, push the kayak around a bit, make sure it's not moving around too much.